What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today I have a special video for you guys. It is a collection video of sorts and it is my custom WWE action figure title belt custom figure belt thing of thing of majigs custom wwe action figure championship belt collection yes ma'am we have all of my belts right here we have some of these made by myself some of these made by really good customizers some of these made by custom belt makers themselves and i think that's pretty much it i mean i, I don't know what else to tell you guys but it's very special because all of these were hand custom made and i'm very excited to show them off i know you guys have probably seen all of these in one way or another maybe you have maybe you haven't if you're new to the channel then you probably haven't seen any of them but here today we're going to show them all off guys we got some from the pick fed in here we got some just random ones from wwe we got some fantasy belts and stuff of that nature and i figured why not make a video showing all of them off together so here we have it here today let's go ahead and get started i'm just gonna pick up the belt explain it you know where it came from why it's made all of that good jazz and then we will go all the way until we finish so with that being said ladies and gentlemen let's get started so i guess we can start things off guys with the greatest champion to ever touch the channel and that is the MDT championship the most illustrious prize in MDT history my damn toys channel is run through this MDT championship right here and you guys know if you follow the pick fed exactly what this is it is the WWE championship equivalent and you got the MDT in the big bold letters in the middle you got the zebra print this is pretty much all the colors of the channel you got the yellow the pink the blue and it all just wraps up with the zebra print such a beautiful looking figure belt and I want to get one of these um, replica made like adult size metal plates and all and I'm going to do that one day but uh, we're not there just yet but I will have that but it is a beautiful looking championship and I love it so much. The first ever holder was Edge, the second ever holder was John Cena and if you guys want to know any more than that you can go watch the MDT Royal Rumble. Next up ladies and gentlemen we have the MDT Tag Team Championships, not the MDT World Tag Team Championships, these are the regular MDT Tag Team Championships currently held by the Bucks of youth over on vindication this is vindication side of the tag titles you got the zebra print continuing with these belts but instead of the regular zebra print you have the yellow and blue and i really like this these tag team championships a lot you got the mdt logos on the side place you got the mdt in the middle with tag team champion you got the world and the continents going around i really do love these championships i think they're some of the most underrated in the pick fed and i think we've only had two champions in the history of these title belts which is kind of ridiculous but i think these are really underrated. I really love the way these look. Next up, we have the other side of the MDT Tag Team Championships, but these are the MDT World Tag Team Championships, and these are currently held by the Usos. I think we've had three different um, pairings of uh, competitors hold these, or four, I guess, if you count the two different members of the Shield. But right here, I think these are two of my favorite belts in the history of our pick fed as well. You got the, the World logos in the middle. You got the pink strap, which I think is really an underrated look. Uh, you got the MDT Live logo goes on the side place. Just really strong looking belts. I love these so much and I think that they are really great. Can't wait to see who they who the Usos defend them against first at the next pay-per-view Hell's Gate. So this should be a really fun time. But these championships looks these championships look fantastic. Next up guys we got a pair of hemp championships and this one right here is an NXT version of the men's NXT championship and this one was made by my boy Last Smith. You're gonna see a lot of his title belts in this video. But this hemp championship was made by yours truly you know when Daniel Bryan was champion. He held the Hemp WWE Championship and I made this using like some photos and like some rubber stuff and like some stuff from Walmart and I got rid of it. I, I had multiple people contact me to make them a version and I can't because I completely threw out everything I had because I thought I'd only need it for one. I, I really don't know what the hell happened but there is two Hemp versions of championship belts. Next up guys we got a pair of women's championships and these were made way before the channel was even started guys. The women's championships from Raw and SmackDown. I made these to go in my first video. I wanted to make these and Mattel had not made them yet and so I was like I can't make a Royal Rumble predictions video if I don't have the championships to go in the video. So I went and bought all the stuff. I used two old WWE championships before we even got you know the, the version that we have now with the you know the regular plates on there. This is back when you know the cash in Seth Rollins came with the WWE championship. I had to take two of those, cut them up, put them on white leather straps and I made these and they're pretty solid but uh, these are like a couple years old or so and I'm still proud of them to this day you know it's a it's a little sentimental because it's these were made for the first ever video and I used them for a while until Mattel gave them to us next up ladies and gentlemen we have the official version of the MDT Ironman Championship 
Iron Man is my favorite MCU and Marvel character, so I wanted a title belt to go along with him in my fed. And you can see here, you got Iron Man. One of my favorite championships, hands down. Here is the Iron Man championship before it was officially made. And you guys can kind of see the difference here. You got gold on this one. You got gold coming off. This one's more professionally made, and it just looks so good. I really like it. You got the Vindication side plates uh, because this is the stipulation. This is sort of the Extreme Championship equivalent over on Vindication. And the top version was made by yours truly, and the bottom one was made by Showstopper Custom Figs, and his looks a lot better and a lot more professional. But we did use this on TV for quite a while until the official ones came in the mail. Next up, guys, we have the MDT United States Championship. This is the mid-card title over on MDT Live. I think it's a really underrated title. You know, I kind of wanted it to look gimmicky, so I just threw a big old United States flag on there, put the MDT on there, and this was actually made on, it, uh, on WWE 2K17 or 18 before I brought it to life. So it is the Internet Championship from Zack Ryder as the base, and there's nothing too much going on there. It's pretty much just a big fat decal slapped over. You can see it kind of revealing up because it's so old now, but I want to replace this title. I just don't know how just yet. Next up, another mid-card championship from the Pick Fed, guys. We have the MDT Revolutionary Championship and it is currently held by the villain Marty Skrull over on Vindication. Really like this one, Revolutionary. You know, it sort of has to do with, you know, standing up. And, you know, the fist is just real nice for that. And you got the gold and silver tones. You got the yellow and blue coming through for Vindication. Vindication side plate logos. Another underrated title in my pick fed. I really like this championship. I think we've had two or three holders now in the company's history. I'd have to check on that. But that is the MDT Revolutionary Championship. Next up, guys, we have a Last Smith Championship. This is the WWE title, but it is custom made for Kofi Kingston. You guys can see this is all metal. This is leather. You can go order these, actually. You can order any championship you want from Last Smith on Instagram, guys. It is L-A-S-S-S Myth or Last Smith. If you will, you can see it's got like a New Day strap. You got the WWE logo. It says Kofi on the side plates. Really very nicely made championship. I love that they have heft to them. They actually conform to the figure's body, and it's like, you know, when The Rock throws it over his shoulder. That's the best way I can describe it. It just has that weight to it. It's just so perfect. Go order some belts. Next up, guys, we have a World Heavyweight Championship, and you're probably saying, MDT, that's not custom made. Well, Brad, if you flip it over, you'll see that it is the version that Dolph Ziggler held that one time. You know when the WWE World Heavyweight Championship had the uh, the crocodile or the snake skin? I think it's red crocodile pattern on the back there. Um, that is what that is supposed to represent. So technically, it is a custom championship. Next up, guys, we have a few Last Smith belts coming up. We have the Rated R Championship. We have the United States Championship. Ship. We have the Intercontinental Championship and the Cruiserweight Championship. So four different metal plated belts here. I think this Cruiserweight title turned out really well. You have the purple. Again, it's still got that metal plates. It's got the official leather to it. Still has the heft. Very nicely made championship. Very clean. He does all of this by hand and he does all of the designs by hand too with a Dremel. So that is absolutely insanity. We have the Intercontinental Championship. Same thing with the heft to it. Actually, I left a belt out. I'm going to have to go over there and grab it. it is a, it's probably one of my favorite belts in my collection. But here's the Intercontinental Championship. Same thing. We have the United United States Championship, which is the same way. And then we have the Rated R Championship, which is, again, the same way. He killed this. I love how he has the eagle, the Rated R logo, the champ on there. The side plates look great. He absolutely kills these. I think that if you're going to get belts made by him, I would go with custom-made ones. I just think it would be really cool. Um, I have two custom-made belts from him, and we're going to show them off right now. One of them is the MDT Extreme Championship. This is the newly made Extreme Championship, which is going to replace the old one, which is right here, which is a United States Championship base, you guys will see here. Um, I just didn't think this screamed extreme anymore. I may keep it around for a little bit, but this is probably the title that will replace it. It just screams extreme, doesn't it? It's got the gold on there. You see extreme in the middle. I may paint the X red or something. You got MDT on there. MDT on the side plates. I love that you got black and red going through, and it looks great, man. I really do like this title belt a lot. I love the middle plate. Got like the indentions on the side there. So there's that one, and then you have the old version of the MDT Extreme Championship. U.S. base. You got the X on there all of the yellow and stuff coming through. It's a really clean belt, but I just don't think it screams extreme, if you know what, I, uh, know what I'm saying. Um, next up, we have the Revolutionary Championship. This is the first version. Obviously, you guys can tell how crappy this one is compared to the updated version that I showed off earlier in the video. And coming down to a few of the last belts, guys, we have the MDT Elite Championship, and we have the two versions, just like we have for the others. We have the first version, which is pretty much just a logo slapped onto a uh, WWE title, and then this one 
one's actually well made. It's it's much more bright. You guys can see um, this looks way more official than this one. This one literally just looks like you put stickers over the title belt, and that's exactly what I did. So um, Showstopper Custom Figs knocked these out of the park. I love this Elite Championship. Probably one of the most prestigious titles on MDT and in the Pick Fed. Current champion Kenny Omega is just absolutely on a tear right now going into Hell's Gate, and who knows if he'll go out of there holding that Elite Championship. We'll have to see, but there's the two versions there. Next up, we have the Red Intercontinental Championship. I actually got this from a fan in a fan mail package, and I thought it looked really excellent, so I wanted to make sure I included it in this video, and it is a custom-made belt, and it doesn't paint chip or anything. Whoever painted this did a really good job because look how clean it is, man. I, and this is one of my favorite belts ever. The, the oval intercontinental title looks fantastic. Um, but that is it for these. I have one more that I want to show you guys, and then we're going to get out of here. And the last championship that I have for you guys is the custom Finn Balor Championship belt, metal plates with the custom demon middle plate. You can see on the side plates it says Finn. Over here it says Balor. You got the teeth and the tongue. I love the like velvet red press strap. I love this belt. I think it's one of my favorites in the collection, if not my top one. You put this on a demon Balor custom figure, and it's just it just makes you want to cry, guys. It's just so good looking. I love it so much. What a perfectly looking championship belt to describe Finn Balor, and I had to include it. You can actually order this belt or one similar to it over at Last Smith on Instagram, guys. You definitely want to go place an order. You can get any belt made. You could even get an MDT championship made if you wanted to. And it just it's so official. Metal strap or leather strap, you got the metal plates and you got the snaps on there, which is super official. But that pretty much does it for my custom WWE Action Figure Championship belt collection, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. I love all of these championships individually. They hold a special place in my heart, especially the MDT pick fed ones just because you know I put so much effort into that and the design of all of them were handcrafted by me I drew them up and I you know brought them to life here and with the help of customizers I brought it to life but that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the custom figure belts. If you guys would, please comment down below which championship is your favorite out of these custom ones and which one is your favorite from the pick fed. I would love to know your personal thoughts on your favorite design. It doesn't have to be, you know, why they're defended and where they're defended and all that good stuff, the history behind the title. Just based off design alone, I would love to know down in the comment section below. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.